Good afternoon, everyone. On May 31st, a 7.2 earthquake hit off the northeast coast of Taiwan, followed by a 3.6 and a 3.5 so just a couple hours later. Conveniently, though, Iris downgraded the quake to a 6.1 and then disappeared the other two quakes. USGS, the same, downgraded to 6.1, and then the other two quakes just don't even appear on their map above 2.5 magnitude. The 7.2 earthquake just offshore, northeast Taiwan, on May 31st, shook the city of Taipei. It was the strongest quake that had been felt in over a decade here in the city. Followed up by two aftershocks at 3.6 and 3.5. And this is from the Taiwan Meteorological Bureau on their seismographs. Jumping over to USGS, immediately downgraded to a 6.1. And then the other two quakes that you saw from the Taiwan Meteorological Bureau don't even show up on the USGS chart. EMSC, they had the quake at 6.3, which is a little bit different than the USGS. Iris, and then when I checked just 12 hours later, they had boosted it back up to a 6.4. But the other quakes that occurred directly after that are not showing up on this map either. Right where the white box is around the yellow circles, the largest yellow circles side by side, there's been two earthquakes of six and greater in the last three weeks in that same area, but the smaller quakes are not registering on IRIS as well. Doesn't matter which chart you're using, the interactive or the Southeast Asia, these extra aftershocks are just not being added. There seems to be a disconcerted effort to downgrade everything so you do not see an uptick in the earthquakes. As our magnetosphere decreases during the grand solar minimum, you can absolutely expect greater volcanism and larger earthquakes. I encourage you to do your own research. Thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of the video. If you'd like the content created here, please jump over to Patreon. I've left a link below. You can support my work.